Hello, brothers and sisters. So we're on the verge of the beast system being a reality, right? So the microchip has been tested. We know this. We've covered the story. It's in Europe. It's working beautifully. People are queuing. Many, many people are already using it. And it's incredible. I mean, I can sell it to you in a salesman's pitch. It's so good. So that's up and running. The banking system everywhere is crashing and turning into this digital banking system that's going to happen soon. That's all in place and ready to go. AI is becoming revolutionary and aware and taking over everywhere as that evil grows as well. And now we have this new story coming out of Israel that just makes me think Antichrist, possibly ruling from Israel after we're gone and needing an AI there as well, because this is going to be an integral part of his entire system of control. NVIDIA, which is a big graphics card house, most of you should know who NVIDIA is, they're huge. NVIDIA to build Israel's most powerful AI supercomputer, right? Alarm bells. NVIDIA will build Israel One the nation's most powerful AI supercomputer to be used as a test bed for Spectrum X reference designs, collaboration with partners, internal research and development. Production begins end of this year. So probably around Rosh Hashanah. Israel One is to be one of the world's fastest AI supercomputers delivering up to eight exaflops of peak AI performance, each exaflop translating the ability to calculate one quintillion floating point operations per second. The machine also is expected to provide peak performance of more than 130 petaflops for traditional scientific computing workloads. There are a thousand petaflops per exaflop. I don't know who had the job of naming these things, but they need to be fired. AI is the most important technology force in our lifetime. And NVIDIA is committed to retaining the forefront, says Gilad Shaina, Senior Vice President. Israel One represents a major investment that will help us drive innovation in Israel and globally. Valued at several hundred million dollars. Israel One will be based on the NVIDIA Spectrum X networking platform for generative AI cloud supercomputers. Developed at the NVIDIA branch in Israel, Spectrum X is designed to enable data centers around the world to transition to AI and accelerated computing. So data centers, important, nothing is for nothing. They're collecting our data at a rapid rate, not just the social media houses, but the World Health Organization, everybody with the pandemic treaties and things that are coming, they're collecting data, the banks, all of them. All that data is going to be collected by Israel One and its like, because this is one of the top ones. And then they will share and disseminate this data globally. Does that not sound to you like a control system? <clears throat> that they will be able to control from a central point. And wouldn't it make sense to you that said central point would be in Israel? Because the devil wants what's God's. And he always wants to copy and shadow what God's done. And he'll bring his false messiah and he'll rule from Israel because he wants Israel to be his, not God's. He works like that. That is his M.O. because he's an idiot even after all these thousands of years. So there we see it again happening right in front of us. The whole world screaming alarms about AI. Let's build the most powerful, biggest AI that there is in Israel. Why not in America? Because we're planning to wipe America out. Okay, got you. Why not in the UK? Because we're probably planning to wipe the UK out. All right, got you. Why not in China? You don't really trust the Chinese. Okay, Russia? No, Russia's the bad guy. Australia? Too many kangaroos. So Israel must be the place. Can't put it in South Africa. We'll dismantle it, sell it, and it'll be spare parts before the end of the week. And no one will know anything and we'll have a commission to discuss what happened. Anyway, Israel is the center of the whole board game going into Daniel's 70th week. 
and you're going to see more and more things like this. Watch the timelines. By the end of this year, it has to be by the end of this year because it's got to be in place for this whole week that's ahead. By 2030, it has to be 2030 because that's the end game. That is the goal point. That is the goal post. Everything's got to fit into the war game going down right now. But you know what? I know how the story ends. Jesus wins, whether they like it or not. God bless. I prefer to watch the whole thing from above than down here below. So I'm tight with Christ. I hope you are. Shalom.